Hello, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. Y'all come on in my studio and say hello. Um, if you're watching on replay and not live, comment hashtag replay or let me know you are here. Say hello. Uh, let me know if you're new so we can welcome you. And if you're watching on YouTube, we would love for you to like, comment, subscribe, and even click that notification bell so you never miss any of our uploads. Um, and you can fast forward through the front part, first part where I say hello to my friends and get right on to the creating. So let me get over here and find myself so I can see my favorite people who are here. Come on, Facebook. There we go. There. Okay. Now I can see y'all. There's Cindy first here. Hey, my sweet, sweet friend. Hey, Patty and Ruth and Vicki. Jermaine is here. Carol, hello, hello. Hi, Betty. Y'all, we got to keep praying for our sweet Betty. Nora, Sue, hello, Opa. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Melissa. And then there's Lisa. Hello. Hi, Linda. Oh, they're going by so fast. Hey, Vanessa and Sussy. Hey, Robin and Patty. Yeah, Betty, give us another. I know I have had an update, but update everybody on how you're feeling, please. Hey, Nancy from Hot Hot Tulsa. Hello from Hot Hot Memphis. <laughs> hey, Hope. Thank you. This is Belle Lily, of course. Hey, Judy. Hey, Nell and Michelle. It's rain. You're getting some rain, Sue. Wow, that's wonderful. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Alice. Thank you for sprinkling, Judy. Hey, Claudia. Yeah, I'm glad our Betty could be here. Hey, Terry. I'm glad you're here. Oh, Ruth. The pizza was so good. Oh, my goodness. Those pizzas are so good. Hey, Robin and Rita. Oh, y'all enjoy that rain. Hey, Trisha and Deborah. Um, I'm so happy y'all are here. Hey, Gail. I went through, I, I was trying to decide what we were going to do today. And I decided it's time to rework some of these things I've had stashed away. Hey, Penny. Um, have had in the stash and uh, figure out what we're going to do with them. And you talked about your rain and all of a sudden it got cloudy here. Wow. Hey, Rose. Hey, Marty. <laughs> yeah, if she can make rain, I bet a lot of us will be buying it. it hey, Barb. Right, it has. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Billy Joe. And Kathy and Dawn. Y'all are all coming on in. 83. Oh, 83 is, that's nice. Hey, Maria. Hey, Nancy. So, I'm just, I've got a Hobby Lobby clearance piece. You know what I tell you to do. You hit that clearance aisle on Hobby Lobby, especially when it gets to 90% off. I don't know if it's there yet. Love the bug behind me, Vanessa. Thank you. My husband made that. It's a replica of my tater bug. It's got eyelashes on the front lights and I love her so much. Hey Phyllis and Darlene. I haven't had rain in about two months. Oh goodness. Hey Jenny. Yeah, tell that tater tot you're going to need that pizza. So I went down the, um, I go down the clearance aisle at Hobby Lobby every time I go and it's a great place to get, um, What's my word? <laughs> Y'all, it's a simple word. These. Um, things to, to redo. <laughs> I can't believe I can't think of the word. <laughs> It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Oh, you've got another dust wall brewing, Cindy? You know, we don't do those here. I cannot imagine seeing a dust wall come at me. That's that one gets me, and uh, I just want to get these these um, 
staples out here. Surface. Surfaces. <laughs> so, I don't have a need for, what's top and bottom, for avocado, uh, mm -mm, artichokes. It's not bad. Thank you. Y'all were, <laughs> y'all were trying to tell me surfaces and I couldn't think of it. So, when I saw this, I just knew this was going to be a great surface. I would either, you know, do a painting on it. Whatever you create with these, it's already framed. It's got a backing on it. Take these stickers off, and uh, this was three seventy four, and that's seventy five percent off. So you can imagine when you get to ninety percent off, you want to go load up. I've used all of mine that I got last year. Have I? Yeah, I think so. So I um. I've been collecting some this year, but I'm kind of holding out. It's a, you know, it's, you got to decide, do I go on and get it now while they have it and get it at 75 or do you, do you wait and see if they might have some left and when they go down to 90%. This one I went on and grabbed $3.74, you know, you can't get a canvas this size for that, plus it's framed. So. Yes, yes, yes. Please share share us with your friends and let us know if you're new so we can welcome you. The first thing I want to do here is chat with y'all while I put a coat of white chalk paint on. I could have done that ahead of time, but I wanted y'all to see what it looked like. Oh, thank you, Michelle. It's my favorite in the nail color. Yeah, I love it. I've got it on my toes now, too. I, it's that coral, that summer coral is my favorite. Hey, Francis, how are you, my sweet, sweet friend? Francis is from um, Vine and Silk Designs, and she is one talented lady. Y'all need to check her out. Um, let me tell you uh, another prayer request. My sweet friend, um, Debbie Robertson at Crafting and Grace, y'all probably know her by now. She was um, in our last Memphis Bells event, had gotten sick with you know what well then she got better and she was live the other night and I thought I don't like the way she sounds that, that doesn't sound good well we got a message from her today and um, it's kind of come back on her because she has some lung issues and so she's asking for prayers and I'm asking y'all for prayer prayers for her for a speedy uneventful recovery she's trying hard to get to a thousand she's really close to a thousand followers and wants to hit that goal so this is what we're gonna do y'all with her permission I've already gotten her permission Thursday my usual time is Thursday at 4 when I come on here with y'all so day after tomorrow on Thursday meet me at Crafting and Grace. I'm going live from her page. So, if you want to get that notification, of course, I'm going to send out a telegram. I'm going to remind y'all and I'm going to post about it. But, um, go on and follow her page. You won't be sorry. And you won't miss what we do live over there on Thursday. So, I won't be live here on Thursday. I'll be live at Crafting and Grace. And we're just going to keep her in that Facebook loop. And we're going to see if we can help her reach that first goal. Will y'all help me with that? Her name is Debbie Robertson. If that's who you're asking about, Francis. Yes. Um, she is... You, you won't meet a sweeter lady than her. And funny. And listen, go check out one of her videos. That lady is talented. I love everything she creates. And it's... She elevates it to such a level. I mean, it's amazing. She did a she did a Hobby Lobby and Goodwill haul. She felt good enough the other day to actually get out. And then she did a live to show us what all she got. And since then, she's been transforming these clearance items or thrift store items, and they're beautiful. Don't you love her, Michelle? Yeah, I, I mean... It's called Crafting and Grace. And uh, if anybody wants to, Cindy, if you've got her link, or if anybody has her link, it's Crafting and Grace. 
So definitely run over there and follow her so you don't miss we don't you don't miss any tater bug and stuff on Thursday. Oh good Melanie, she's just awesome. I do too, Opa. I do too. I think it's wonderful. And um listen, there's another one. I, I just gotta talk about her again. Marlene at Marley Grace. Y'all that woman is she is so incredible and so, so sweet. Um, she did a pumpkin last night. She's a whiz at the molds, the clay molds. She did uh, paper clay last night. She does them all different ways because she is really good at furniture. But last night she took a paper mache pumpkin and made it look so high end you just won't believe she has all these great little tips and tricks and uh, I was watching her she popped that paper clay in there but, but, but y'all saw how long it took me in my video because I'm new to it and um, she'd cornstarch it went in there she'd go boop, fell right out in her hand I said how, how do you do that? <laughs> she just makes it look so effortless. Thank you, Brenda. I don't think you will be at all sorry you did because um, those two ladies are so sweet and so talented. I just don't want y'all to miss out on what all goodness they have to offer. And we need our Debbie well again. We really do. Um, Marlene is doing a, she just hit a thousand today. That was her first goal so happy for her she hit a thousand and um so she's on to shooting for two but she says she's doing a um does she call it prissy a prissy pumpkin pink pumpkin tonight <laughs> said well the prissy pumpkin is right up my alley i gotta see that <laughs> so that'll be fun Oh, thank you, Stacy. Y'all are going to make her so, so happy. And I promise that lady works so hard. And um, she she brings it. And she keeps you entertained while she's creating and just chit-chats. And it's just like sitting with a precious friend. And it is. That's exactly what it is. Oh, Deborah, it, it was that was a no-brainer. I mean, come on. And the thing is, thank you, Jenny. I know, um, I know she'd do the exact same thing for us in a heartbeat. She's got such a big heart. Um, so, yeah. I thought I'd just chat about that while I do the boring white chalk paint. Her name is Debbie Robertson, and her page is Crafting in Grace. Marlene is from Marley Grace Designs. Oh, I just did a, I just, Marley Grace Creations, Marley Grace Design. Somebody help me. Thank you, Leanne. Yes, yeah, she's doing 30 days of pumpkins. I said, girlfriend, have you lost your mind? <laughs> that made me tired just thinking about it. <laughs> yes, Ellie. People are reaching their goals today, y'all. Ellie got to her 2,000 goal. Oh, Libby, thank you for that. You're so sweet. Uh, Marlene's is Marley Grace Creations. Thank you, Cindy. I got the creations and designs messed up. I have had a really good day, Jane. Thank you so much. Having a better one now that I'm with y'all. You follow everyone who went, yes, wasn't yesterday fun? That was just a fun event and so many cute things. Now, let me tell you where I'm going next with this. This is a piece of rice paper from Nanny's Napkins. Y'all know I'm an affiliate with Nanny's Napkins, so I have an affiliate link for y'all. But do you remember when I got this beautiful rice paper? I love it so much. It almost fits perfectly in here. Let me uh, let me open it up so it doesn't have that glare on it. All of y'all going to to follow her. Oh, she's gonna be so happy. And she was not feeling good today. And she, y'all, she didn't even want to tell us that she was sick, but she just needed prayer, and she knew she could come to us. And um, 
she said, I don't want to seem like I'm complaining. Come on, sweetness. I'd be whining like a baby. Okay. So what I'm thinking, now, now this I've gotten as far as I've, I've figured out because I knew I would need my friends <laughs> for this. <laughs> so you can see, since it's white, you can see the little where it's not going to fit. Yes, she is going live. Thank you, Opa. Ellie's Attic will be live at 5.15 today because we have a, a coaching group Zoom meeting we have to go to at 6. So I'm going to speed through this. I will do it, Barb. I will do it, girlfriend. You know it. It is hot. Yes, Tony. It's so hot. Just like it is there. So I just want to cover up, obviously, that white. So what I'm thinking is, speaking of Ellie's Attic, you know how she suggests doing, um, oh, that's my jar, you don't need to see that yet. The worn penny with a little black in it, and it makes this beautiful color. Mine dried up. So, new jar, we're gonna do it again. But I think it's gonna just really look pretty with the edges of this. I also pulled out some paints that I think might go with this, but honestly, I think it'll match that chain anyway, and y'all know how I feel about watches, and it says, the world of reality has its limits, but the world of imagination is boundless. This paper just had so many elements that spoke to me with the watches, and there's writing in the background, a beautiful quote, um, a little tiny bit steampunk, you know, with the key and the gears and all, but, you know, my color down here totally. So, I just love this paper, and I've had it for a while, and I thought, you know what? I've had this. I've had this. Let's get going on it, and uh, I think I realized since I did this white and got a little bit of white on the black, I should have masked it off, so let's do that. I think so, Tony, and you know what? Oh, I wish I had pulled that. Uh, I have some I can run over there and get. If we can get to that point, um, that's what we'll do. That's a, that, See, that's what I'm talking about. A lot of times I just plan to a certain point in something, and then I think I'm gonna let them take it from here and tell me what I should do, because y'all never steer me wrong. Y'all, there's a story about these nails. <laughs> I've, I've always had some kind of nails, fingernails. My nails are strong. Um, I don't wear them long anymore like I used to in the 80s. And um, I got, they got, mine got messed up using gel nail polish. And I loved that stuff. I do my own nails. Well, I got sick of looking at they're all they're kind of getting healthier now. I'm working on them, I'm babying them. And I got so sick of those ugly old nails. And so yesterday after I did my live. Oh, are you kidding me, Cindy? Y'all are so awesome. When she sees this, oh, I'm going to cry. She's going to just, oh, that y'all don't know what that means to, to us as creators. Mm. I love y'all. That's, that's that. So anyway, silly fingernails. I shouldn't tell off on myself in front of the whole wide world. I usually would cut these down, and they still maybe cut down, but yesterday I thought, I've had enough. They look so awful. I'm working on it. Oh, but that's so funny you mentioned that. I was, um, yes, it's coming. And my goal, and y'all know me and goals, but I would like to, again, have it, you know, announce it, go on and announce it, because we're in the last bits of July here, last week of July, 
but I'd like to have the video up as of August 1st. So y'all have all of August to paint it instead of me doing the class at the end. So yeah, it's coming. So it's just us, right, Patty? It doesn't matter all those people that might see it on YouTube later. That's okay, that's okay. Um, so I got out. <laughs> you know, they have perfect, we used to joke about press on nails that way back in the day. But I found out that um, they've perfected them. I found this out a couple of years ago. And so I wanted to try them. And I got really good at them. And they lasted so long. That's the benefit. You're not having to, you know, if I paint my, my nails myself, just regular polish, it's I'm too hard on my hand. It comes off 24 hours. It's looking a mess. And um, so I got out my little nails and my uh, glue. And I put those nails on and painted them and then realized I had not taken my contacts out of my eyes. <laughs> and I looked at Gerald and Chris. It was Chris's day off. And I said, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm not used to these anymore. <laughs> so, um, but I guess it's like riding a bike because today I'm, I'm doing... You know, I learned to type with nails longer than these, so I got them in my eyes. Kind of hurt my right eye taking them out last night, but I'm so silly. Hey, Kelly, how are you doing? That is, oh, y'all will love her. You won't be sorry, I promise. Hey, Amanda, there's my sweet friend from Amanda Maid. I was telling him the story about my nails. <laughs> Mr. T likes them, though, so... <laughs> I thought, well, if I can't stand them, I will uh, cut them down. And I may still. But so far today, I've done okay with them. Isn't that silly? Probably, you know, I don't know. But I'm enjoying them for a little bit. And then I'll pop them off. Don't even have anywhere to go fancy. But I just wanted to have pretty nails for a day or two. Thank you, Amanda. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. I just put a layer of Mod Podge down and let's... Oh, you know what? Oh, too late now, Wendy. Mm. Okay. Well, you know, real life crafting. You get to talking with your friends and you forget how you were going to do something. It's okay. It's okay. It will be fine. I was going to mix up those two paints. Oh, that's what I love about rice paper, y'all. It is so easy to decoupage with rice paper. Not a wrinkle in it. It just, you know, and I even had to kind of readjust it there. I love that. So... Now I've made my life a little bit harder. Uh, Cause I was going to mix up that paint and just do the edges first. It is what it is. Is, ha is Hazine here? How are you sweet friend? All my 37 years in nursing, I did not have painted artificial nails. I got some put on for my daughter's wedding. Oh my word, I was almost thinking. <laughs> I told Gerald and Chris yesterday, I said, I've rendered myself helpless. I can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm not on replay. This is live, you know, bloopers and all. So this is what we have. It's hard to, you know, tell it with it taped off, but now I got to see if I can just paint the edges. So let's mix up. Oh, it's hot in here. I have to turn on these lights so uh, y'all can see what I'm doing. Thank you, Kelly. It's from Belle Lily. I think this is the last one from this last order. I think I've worn all of them for y'all. 
you know, plus I did that haul video where you saw them. Um, It's a comfy t-shirt. Max said to tell me hello. Well, hello to Max. Libby, that's great. How are you doing, Max? I'm probably boring him to pieces. So I just added a little bit of black with that warm penny. See if I can do it like Ellie does. I'm gonna mix it with my little skewer. Let's see how it looks compared to these chains. I might have to add a little more warm penny. I might put too much black. Yeah, I think I will. That's okay, Becky. I'm just glad you're here. What did you mess up? You I messed up. The quote says, the world of reality has its limits, but the world of imagination is boundless. And I liked that. Plus all the elements on it. And like I said, you can get that at Nanny's Napkins. Um, I have an affiliate link with them. If you'd like to use that for a discount, that's fine. If you want to just, you know, they've got a lot of things besides uh, just rice paper too. They have napkins. They've got stamps. They've got Oh, Max and Mac, uh, Mav and Mac. Oh, okay. Twins. Mav and Mac. Could you take the piece out of the frame to do the edges? Give you more space. Oh, well, okay. If I do that, let me show you. I might, I might just do it anyway. I have to take the whole backing off, but that's really not that big a deal. Let me see how hard this is gonna be. Oh, <laughs> Cindy thought it was my shirt quote. <laughs> hey, Deb. Yeah, do we have any first timers here that would like to say hello and let us welcome you? Because these ladies are so awesome, you'll be glad you're here. How's that looking? It's pretty. Let's give that a go. Let's just give it a go and see how it does. Use a smaller brush and. Oh, that's pretty. And you know, I don't mind it getting on the edges of the paper some. I really don't. Because this is, you know, just because of the look. Especially over on the side that has this color on it. But, uh, this might not be too hard to do. And we can always add, I've got some wax that we can put on. This is just the perfect size brush. It's just the perfect width. Stacy's new. Hey, Stacy. Welcome, welcome. I am so happy you're here, and I hope you'll enjoy what we do. Enough to follow us. That would be awesome. Let me give you all a peek at that side. What do you think? You may help me think of other ways to, to disguise, you know, this thicker part at the top. Is Elizabeth on here? Elizabeth, Miss 2K. So happy for my friend. Ellie's Attic. Y'all, are you following Ellie's Attic? Because I'm telling you, she gives me all, gives us all, but you watching her, that's where I got this um, mix in the worn penny with black paint to get this beautiful color. I like that metallic look with this paper. 
Have you, Leanne? I love using napkins, too. And like I said, over at Nanny's Napkins uh, Shop, there's all kinds of things over there. Uh, oh, my goodness. I saw a paper over there this morning. I stuck it in my cart just in case, so I don't want to I don't want to forget. One day I'm going to go order it. It's, um, there was like four different, oh, what am I trying to say? It's like a little winter wreath with a different animal in each one. There was a rabbit in one. There was a, a buck in one. You know I'm going to use that. Thank you, Iris. You're so sweet. Um, and I think maybe an owl and I don't know, but there, it was a set of four on that paper and then there's a winner one it's a full sheet and it's a buck in the woods and you know I love to decorate with deer Mr. T is a, um, a hunter and that's streaking we're gonna have to let that dry and go back over that but um, I may have to have those papers they're very pretty she had, you know, there were whole sheets of owls and those pretty things. You think so, Cindy? I really, I, I'm liking how that looks with the paper. It looks like it was just meant to be there, right? The worn penny is Deco Art Dazzling Metallic. So you, if you want to screenshot it. That's a good question, Stacy. Um, do you remember, Cindy? What the actual link is? I should have that written down. Thank you, Marlene. Were you here early? Were your ears burning when I was talking about you? Congratulations on getting to your, reaching your first goal. I know it's just the first of many, many that you're going to be reaching. And uh, the Prissy Pumpkin sounds right up my alley, so if I can stay awake long enough. I was watching her last night, and she said, Lindy, are you still awake? <laughs> I said, barely. It's like 8.30. She knows how early I go to bed. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. I can't help it, Susan. Yeah, I love, or if you're talking to me, um, y'all know I love girly. I thought this was going to be much harder to paint around, and it's not. It was really easy. Thank goodness. And um, this is the only part. I'm going to hit, hit it with the dryer. I might just touch it up in a few places. But so far, so good. Of course, it's going to look a whole lot better without that masking tape. So. Oh, to, tonight's is smaller and faster? Okay. Is it? It's with an N. N-I-N-N-Y apostrophe S. Ninnies. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's hit it with the heat gun. Heat tool. Boop. If you're talking to me, Vicki, that's very sweet of you, but I don't know that this took any kind of talent at all. I was kind of going, to be honest, kind of going easy on myself today because, um, I did my usual live Sunday afternoon, and then I was live in the Simple Treasures event yesterday, and then live again today, so three in a row, and um, I was a little tired, so <laughs> let's, let's just go a little easy today. Oh, Barb is so, now listen, Barb is so sweet. She had asked me earlier today if I would mind if she chose a couple of you um, for happy mail. She wants to send y'all some happy mail. I think that's so sweet. Yeah, I got my pearls on. These are my anniversary pearls. I even wore the bracelet today. This past anniversary, he got me the whole set. Sweet man. And I love the way the, my 30, the, the one with the um, butterfly and the little pearl dangly was for our 30th anniversary 
and it pairs so well with the one the plain pearls he got me this year i just love them so i never thought i'd be a pearl person and i am i love them thank you sue thank you and we're gonna get to this part and i just we want to i want to see if y'all think i should let it alone and just leave it like this or if we need to add some things to it like i think it was tony that said this is going to need, was it Tony that said this is going to need a uh, key? We could put that like on the frame. Wouldn't that be pretty? We make sure none of that white is peeking out. Let me hit that a little bit again. I'm getting a little worried. Mr. T, just as I was going live, was going next door to administer the insulin shot, and he's not back yet. I wonder what's going on over there. But my stepdad's blood sugar is so much better, y'all. It's, it's not the most compliant person. But that blood sugar is coming on down for us. So he's hopefully going to stay out of the hospital. I'm amazed at how well this color actually matches this paper. Don't you think, especially over on this side, and it matches the chain? Oh, this is pretty. Hey, Ann from Winnie, Texas. Yeah, I agree, Michelle. I, I really love, well, obviously, or I wouldn't, you know, be an affiliate and bring them to y'all. I promised y'all that. I don't bring you any kind of things that I don't really like. Thank you so much. Simply Bewitching Crafts. I know your name. I know your name. I do it every time. Is it Wendy or Brenda? What? I don't Oh, tell me. And I, I apologize so much. To add a key, right? I think so. Let's, let's heat the, let's uh, dry this a little bit. Pull off this masking tape. And then I'm going to go run over there and get that key. I hope so, Jenny. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Hey, Tanya. Oh, she's still at work, y'all. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Were you here earlier when we were talking about you? We're praying for you. Um, no, uh, my husband hasn't been sick. It was my stepdad. Well, he had, honestly, it was the beginning of the year when he had a really, really, really bad spell. But then when he went to his follow-up appointment a week ago, um, Monday, his blood sugar was 614. The doctor didn't know how he even walked in there. It does, doesn't it, Patty? Oh, thank you, Tanya. You're so sweet. Y'all, did y'all, Tanya is from Hummingbird Painery. She was in our event last night, and I was with her when she found that piece at the thrift store, and she immediately saw the Grinch, and I'm like, and as I looked at it, I thought, okay, yeah, I think I do see a Grinch. Y'all, if you didn't watch her do that last night, or you haven't seen how it turned out, you need to go check it out. Unbelievable. I'm so glad to hear that, Becky. Oh, I'm so glad. Wendy. So I was I was right. Was I right? Yes. I hope so. <laughs> There's still something firing up in there maybe. Hey Minnie, I'm glad you're here. Well, you know, you you had absolutely done such a great job and then you pulled out that fur, that green fur that was just perfect. And I saw your finished picture today and it was just amazing. It looked so good. Okay, see now y'all, sometimes I'm used to having some nails and I'm kind of, sometimes I'm even worse without them because I can't pinch things or something and see this, got nails, you can just whoop. press on y'all, <laughs> cheap and cheerful, <laughs> but I'm telling you that glue works good now, I'm going to have to do a little touching up, that's alright, I'm not a very good taper. Yeah, uh, I'll admit to the things that I can't do very well, and taping is one of them. Masking something off. 
that will fix it. See the white peeking? I can't take that. So we're gonna, let's do a little touching up real quick. Hey Elizabeth, you doing okay today? I should be further along with this piece. Talk too much. You know, I, I work from home here and I like my time with my friends where I get to talk to y'all. Not that I don't talk with Mr. T, we talk, but you know, girls. And, and guys, I know there's some, some gentlemen on here too, so, and I appreciate that. I can't imagine that you'd be interested in this, but they're crafty, crafty gentlemen. We've got one in a, uh, I can't say that, it's a surprise. Nothing. Breaking out some new molds to play with tonight. Ooh, fun. I am loving molds. I'll tell y'all, I ordered, um, was it one or two? Because I didn't let myself go wild. I saw Marlene had these bird molds. She's got a stack of molds this high. I was like, oh, that looks like so much fun. Um, they were so pretty. And that's not what I ordered. Oh, that's not so bad, bringing it up on that black a little bit. Let's try that. Uh, I ordered mine from Amazon earlier today, and they're supposed to get here tomorrow, which means that I can use them for the live when I'm live on Crafting in Grace Thursday. And I'm kind of excited. I'm going to have to, I'm going to get prepared, Debbie. I will do you proud on your page. I promise not to, not to um, mess up your page while I'm over there. She gives me the key to her house and I go in and mess up. Wouldn't that be bad? Oh, I think I'm liking this. See, I accidentally got that white chalk paint up on the black. Well, I was gonna hit it with the black, but instead I'm doing little bits of this copper and I don't hate it. I'm gonna hold it up for y'all and we'll see. Hey, Susan. I'm having a great day now. I'm here with my friends. We're all doing good. Thank you so much. And I hope it's the same with you. Thank you. Yep, we're praying our sweet Debbie Robertson feels better soon. We're praying our sweet Betty Sargent gets better soon. We need her to heal up. And have no pain. Oh my, I really like that, y'all. What do you think? Birds, butterflies, drag. Oh, I, uh, Jerry, you might have to send me a picture. That's right up my alley. Thank you, Judy. Oh, even a dragonfly? I'm going to look that up. What do y'all think? Oh, I see the hearts. Thank you, thank you. Patty Willard, I'm going to check. Oh, ooh, they're going by fast. Let me, y'all, do you mind if I go over there and get that key? I think I know right where it is. I think I do. Let's see. They're not copper, but I don't think that's going to matter. Isn't that pretty with the circle at the top? And I have this one. What do y'all think? Watch gears. Um, I'll tell you what I could do.
Did I clean up that good after yesterday or day before? Well, I've got those wooden gears from um, Hobby Lobby that I could get out and I could paint the copper. You like the first key that's round? Use the second one, Libby. Two, two, okay. So let's just do a little, let's do a little test. So are we thinking kind of, um, can y'all even see that down at the bottom like that? Do you, should it be on here? What are y'all thinking? Some of my uncles watched it. Oh, oh, oh now, okay, okay. I gotta do it. Let me see, let me get my little, my little bucket of Uncle Walter's watches, and did I, where did I put the gears up? Sometimes, you know, I wish I'd just leave stuff alone for a little while, and there they are. As soon as I put something up, I can't find it. So I do have these we could add if we paint them um, that copper color. How about place it over the key in the picture? Watch gears parts on top left where the pictures are. See, there's Debbie glue key on the picture. Everybody's saying put it on the on the key. Okay, well let's do it. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do E6000 and then just a tad of hot glue in the middle to hold it in place for immediately. Yeah, it didn't show very well on the frame. I know. It, it just kind of got lost on that. So, and let's see here. are so similar. This is great. Man. So it gives it that 3D effect. Okay, now I know you know I can't hold it up, but can y'all kind of see those in this corner that I have placed and then one in the middle? What do you think? I love doing that, Cindy. It's, I just think it looks so good. I love, you know, it just starts to pop out. Of course, there's some more gears down here. We might put, yeah. We can even do a couple down here. Oh, that really balances it out. So, a little top, middle, and bottom. Well, where, there we go. Yeah, top, middle, and bottom. I like that. Okay, so let me get out. Let's do this. Let's see if we can hold these up kind of quickly. I don't want to get, I don't want to go into um, Elizabeth's time. So I'm going to hurry here and let's see if we can just paint these up. You sit right over here and dry them real quick. We only have to paint one side, so. Maybe it won't be too bad. Oh, good. See, I knew. I knew y'all would walk me through the rest of it. I said, okay, let me pull this surface. Let's pull this paper. I'll let them do the rest. I did I did know I was going to do the cop, the worn penny and the, the black. So, thank you, Grace. Thank you so much. It's Belle Lily. Oh, thank you, Barb. I even have some of the... Um, it's called Autumn Gold Rub and Buff. If there's a, a place where you think we should do it. I've got my wax out, but I don't really think we're going to need it. Do y'all?
I thought I would need it um, on the edges, but I, I don't think it needs it. Oh, these look so good with this color on them. <gasps> they look metal. They really do. Yeah, no wax, I agree. Put some teal in some of the gears. Ooh, like a patina. Look at you, Leanne. I'm gonna do it. Oh, that's a great idea. That's the fun of creating with your friends. Everybody works together and comes up with ideas. Collaborations are so fabulous. And it's so funny when I then when I look at that piece, I'll remember the parts that y'all um, helped me with, and wh which parts were your ideas, and that's fun. Straight metallic without the black. I don't know, I'm kind of really, really liking this color. I'll show it to y'all and get your opinion, or you may be able to see it. And I, I really do, I'm gonna dry it real quick. Shouldn't take a second to dry. And then take a sponge with some teal that I think I have on the table. And let's put a little patina on them. Come to think of it, I think I have a paint color that it's called patina. I need to see if I've got that. Yeah, just a small touch of teal. Which, oops, I love that color. Oh, Tony. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes I just really like to hear what y'all, you know, sometimes I already have a vision in my head and, and I can go, just go on with that. But then like today on purpose, I thought I'm just going to get it to this point and I know they're going to have great ideas for me. Thank you for dropping all the links, Cindy. You're so good at that. Yes, there is. Look. There's a lot of teal in the paper over on this side. That kind of patina color. Well, I lucked out on it today, Wendy, because, you know, I just happened to have these um, gears that I got last week at Hobby Lobby in the um, wood, uh, wood, wood, What's that section? Why do words come to me today? Oh, and I was going to do this. See? <gasps> Let me show you this. Okay. Oh, my goodness. This is from my uncle's watch shop. Look at the color. <gasps> oh, ooh. Oh, y'all. What do y'all think of that? Oh, it matches so perfectly. Woodpile, thank you. <laughs> okay, Wendy, thank you for being here. Isn't that perfect, that watch? <gasps> oh my goodness. Thank you, Uncle Walter. I can't, I, I've got to tell him about this. He's gotta come on over here and see all of the watch stuff I use. Okay, let me ask you this. Should I hit this? That's bothered me. A spam call had come in. Should I hit this with that metallic? What do y'all think? Be thinking on that while I look for this patina color. Do I have it here? Um, Don't you think that, can y'all see that color? It's called Dutch Aqua. I think I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, just leave it like it is and don't paint it. That's even better. Okay, all right. You go over here. Let's hit this with just a little bit of this. Where's my little sponge that I had out yesterday? Hmm. 
I just saw it. I know it's here. Uh, okay, well, let me just grab another one. Oh, there it is, there it is. Now, I'm just getting a little bit on the end of this makeup sponge. Leave it natural. It looks like it has... Yes, I think so. I think it's a pretty color. Yes, that's what I'm doing, Grace. Yes. A little bit of patina. Oh, that's pretty. Can y'all see that? Just a hint of it. I know, I know. I am so fortunate to have it. I'm blessed. Your dad's pocket watch. What? I know. Uncle Walter, um, I need, I need some more supplies. <laughs> Yeah, this this teal great call I think that was Leanne right a uh, great call on the patina loving it because you know that's that's the color that's my favorite and it just just little dabs of it and that's gonna really go well with that paper I think bit more on this. I'm glad y'all like this. Okay, let's glue some stuff down. Hit this with the heat tool. <laughs> you were shouting at the screen. <laughs> this color is from Folk Art. It's called Dutch Aqua. And I think it's just beautiful. It's uh, it's the perfect color on here. It really is. Looks like this copper has um, oxidized or whatever that process is. Looks like metal. Now let's let's finish this up. Let's start gluing stuff down. I want to do okay let me just show y'all how well that color matches this paper can y'all tell that it really matches that blue so perfectly in the piece in the paper get these where they need to be and uh, then we'll I had turned you on, hadn't I? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Kim. I didn't know you were here, you sweet friend. I'm glad you like it. This one may end, have to end up in the auction because I can't keep everything. I don't have a <laughs> big enough house. Thank you, Carla. I'm, I'm honestly amazed at how well these colors are matching this paper. Okay, I'm one on the smooth one. Let me see. I think this is supposed to go here. 
just going to be a little one out of there. Did I do enough? If not, I'm not, I'm not going to keep y'all any longer. I'll finish it off. See, it's 5 o'clock. Ellie's Attic will be on in 15 minutes. Get going, Lundy. Oh, I like it going off the edge like that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see how I did it. All right. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, I love to hear that. Hey, Trish. Trish from Love and Life with Trish. Have y'all been watching her devotions this week? Been enjoying those so much. Uh, this last piece. I'm going to go right in there. Hopefully that's making contact. That's they're all all stuck down there. Let me just show y'all this because I had it go, this larger one, go off the edge at the bottom. Looking good. Can y'all see how well that they blend with this paper? They look like they were meant to be there. Wait, I missed it. something. You, uh, this one on top overlapping the other two. I had the small, oh, uh, okay. Well, you know what I'll do? I will take this little piece and paint it, and I, yeah, I'll put that up at the top. You're right. Let me set that aside so I can um, do that when we get off of here. And I'm going to put our, let's get our um, key down. E6000, hurry, Lindy, hurry. Little E6000 here, little E6000 at the bottom, and then we're going to put some glue in the middle. They were meant to be there. That's absolutely right. Okay. Oh, I love this, y'all. Oh, you did such a great job. You did a wonderful job. Now, now, uh, where does Uncle Walter's watch need to go? Does it need to hang right about, right about there on the chain? Do you think? Jack saying maybe you should give this to your uncle. Oh, and my aunt might fuss because they've got too much stuff. He's supposed to be getting rid of this stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Oh, Cecilia, I got it at Ninny's Napkins online, and I have an affiliate code for y'all if you would like to use it. Uh, so, Cindy said it's just at checkout, use Tater Buggin. I think it's in all caps. Um, yeah, Cindy had dropped that link. So, I'm just going to add this down here. We're just going to go on and do that real quick. Hold it up for the money shot. And doing the same thing. I'm going to do the E6000 around the edge, and then I'm going to put the hot glue in the middle to just hold it in place for instant hold. Oh, 
I cannot believe there was a watch face in there. That's the exact color. Y'all, nobody's going to tell me that was an accident. I don't believe in it. That was meant to be. Thank you, Lord. That was a bonus happy. There we go. Would you just look at it? This was a $3.74. Still on about, yeah, $3.74 from Hobby Lobby. And we took a piece of beautiful rice paper and look what we did. Oh, thank you for the hearts. This was so much fun. Oh, this is just, this is so my jam, y'all. And get to getting to do this, sitting talking to you sweet ladies is so wonderful. So, you've got a 10 minute break, like we used to get in school. <laughs> and uh, did I get my money shot? Do y'all think I got my money shot? Hold it for a long time, Lindy. <laughs> oh, it makes me so happy. Okay, that's that. All right, thank y'all for hanging with me this afternoon. And um, I gotta send Uncle Walter some pictures of these things that where I've used his watch stuff. Anyway, take a break, 10 minutes, do what you need to do, and be over at Ellie's Attic at 515 and let's see what fabulousness she creates and don't forget marlene at marley grace creations is going to be live tonight marlene at 7 30 is that right anyway um we'll see y'all we'll see y'all and i'll be thursday don't forget you, you, i'll be over on crafting and grace on her page at four o'clock same time um so meet me over there thursday love y'all have a great evening bye